I'm going to say the M word. Mama. Damn. Oh, damn. That's what you James call an Kong. epic clap. <laughs> Someone intro the show? No, you have to. You're in the host seat. James, next cast, I want you to sink using a booty clap. Sink With it. the cheeks, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just bouncing together, producing that beautiful clap. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of the Jar Media Podcast. Oh my no god, energy. it's called the Jar Cast. James. Jar Media Podcast. Like, oh, I forgot my fucking water. Yogs Pog, Pod Stacked, Mama. The Jar Media Podcast, like, rolls off the tongue easier. It's like. I've got it, it all. actually doesn't. It's actually way more syllables. No, but it sounds better to no, like, present the people. Jarcast. I like the John Media Podcast. Needless to say, we are the Jarcast. Welcome to episode 140. That Nine. was it. Eight. She was Eight. all bad, bad. So she was, she uh, was all bad, She was bad. the queen of England. Spider. I'd like to start by thanking all of our Patreons for helping making the cast possible. Today, we've got the usual banditos. We've got... Banditos. We've nice. got Jamie, we've got Alex, and we've got Ola. Ruben. Hello. Let's all say hello in a different way. Well, hold up. Ruben just sounded like uh, Private, the penguin from Madagascar. Wait, do, do that again. Hello. Wait. Oh, Did you actually <laughs> voice him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <Skip> out. <laughs> I've got a way to start the, the show. Mama. No. Mama. 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 Ma. Ma. I thought we meant to say hello in a different language. Yeah, now let's do the I know language. how to say hello in any language. Hello. What's that from? You can tell me what that's from. I know how to say hello in any language. Some video game? It was from a bad sucks. trailer for Destiny. Remember that one? Oh, no. One that was oh, like, shit. Oh, yeah. Hola. I already said oh, oh, hola. No, you said hola. oh, hola. Hi, hi. That's the worst one so far. Ni hao. Oh, Jim's one's pretty good. Pretty emotional. James. I would say Russian, but I can't remember the Russian. Oh, moshi, moshi. I said hola. <laughs> Could have just said hello. So James Someone. and Ruben had the worst one. I had uh, the worst one. And mine was the, well, right in the middle. Mine was actually accurate. And from a language I, I somewhat know. Unlike mine yours. was in another language. What well, was it, Ruben? I don't I don't. Ni hao! It was hi hi. Uh, there was something... Uh, it was Norwegian. We do have a subject. Oh, okay. I thought it was fucking Asian. Anyway, moving on from that absolutely waste of time. Ruben, by any chance, for that. Do, do Norway have any whiskey? Do Norway any, have any whiskey, got one single everyone? One. Have they, do one. they sell any whiskey in the entire country? Yeah. Country? Ruben, they they have one answer the hard questions here. Norway. Do Norway have any whiskey? <laughs> They've run out of whiskey. I bought oh, no. it. Oh, no. Do they have, like, anything? Any food? No. Water? No. It's actually... They eat snow. God of War, right? That's that's Norway. That's what yeah. it's like. When you went on holiday there, you were just in some cabbing. I was cabin in Midgard. In oh, yeah, I was in Midgard. Yeah. Eating snow, eating ice. Yep. You have snow for Maine and ice for dessert. No, but what about if you want some snow and ice? No, that can be a Maine. A slushy. It's nice. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Last episode we were supposed to do something, but about I just forgot. The Japanese. Because my urban laptop legends. wasn't charged, so I couldn't see my list. What was it? The Japanese urban legends. You want to announce it right now, or is it safe for later? No, it, n we'll, go to, we'll do it in the first half. It's about. Um, I was trying to remember how I stumbled across this, like. Lame ass article about Japanese urban legends. Yep. Or something. Um, so I wanted to go through a few of them, and James said he's like an expert on the matter. So. Well, I, I know a few because I'm curious, so I just look at things. Because he's a weeb. Well, yeah, you I know, know a few because you're curious, curious and look at things. Yeah, I know a few of them. <laughs> I, got, the, I got super oh, scared, didn't sleep for like a week, so I was like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm That's scared. That's a thumbnail sorted, lol. The, uh, <clears throat> the article is from a. Uh, Pretty reputable website, grape.com. Yep. Oh, no, them. food, culture, art, sightseeing, goods, and animals. With a. <laughs> Whenever I'm writing an essay for university, I go straight to grape. <coughs> I cite them. <laughs> They're pretty good. Never heard of them before in my entire life. Nope. Neither I either. actually have, though, this thing. Have you actually? I have, yeah. <clears throat> you probably read this very article, which reads Seven creepy Japanese urgent. Le uh, sorry, urban legends. Urgent legends. That will make you terrified of the bathroom. Because for Body some hand. reason they all seem to be obsessed with the bathroom, which fits into the Jar Media poo theme and wee theme and fart theme. You don't fart it just in the bathroom. Do you ever just pull your cheeks apart and fart when you're like in the shower? 
Ever since Alex started saying this, I've done it once and it didn't really. Which then what? Pull, really change anything. Or pull your cheeks apart and you fart. It and makes it smell worse no, for some reason. No, it, 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 there's no satisfaction in the fart when you sweat. You know when you you no, most, there, there no I completely there, disagree yeah, with I that. Disagree. I've never I've never that's really why, done a whopper. That's why I'll always be tilting. You know, you'll catch me doing that tilt, and that's when the squirt's gonna come. Yeah, because that's because James means when you spread your cheeks, it just goes like. Mm. You just sl- slide on. That's not true. Did you know if you have no hair on your ass at all, it's impossible to do silent farts? If you have no hair on your ass. Well, to be honest, all. how would you shave your ass? Easy. I don't know. Just, <coughs> just gotta bend over, get a razor up in there. Oh no, that doesn't not sound fun. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that either. Yeah. I've, I've got, got like one me. hair there anyway. <laughs> so anyway, scary Japanese urban legends. Let's delve into this, my urban guys. legends. What's that? <laughs> oh, James has like a weird cut on his arm. Yeah, I've only I noticed just noticed that, that. And I thought you would know what it was. I was going to ask you. No. What if something's happening right now? What if, probably, was what it if one of these? What if it's ghosts? Did you scratch your arm on something on the way up the stairs? Did Argy get you? Mm, I don't know. Looks like you've been got by Argy. I think it's shingles. I've got shingles. <laughs> Great. We've all got shingles now. Uh, but yeah. Thanks, James. The first one is called Coochie Mama Sake Ona. A.K.A. the slit-mouthed woman. Do you know this <laughs> slit. one, James? Yes. Slit is coochie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know this one. Um, Perho- uh, perhaps the most famous, thanks to depiction in popular media and terrifying images that are essentially the equivalent, parentheses, and way better, Jeff the Killer of Japan. <laughs> the legend of Kuchi Sakeona, as many le- Japanese urban legends do, originates from the tragic death of a woman. Everything in Japan like starts that. That's how the grudge is that way. I think the ring is that way as well. Just they're just obsessed with it. So basically, it's wait. Legend says that a husband found out his wife was cheating on him and, in a rage, slit her mouth open from ear to ear, mockingly asking her, "Who is going to find you pretty now?" Oh, she, I think I've seen this in. A, I think it's the Dark Knight. I think it's the origin story. Yeah, the Joker. Yeah, James, yeah. can we let's role play this? Uh, why? You, why? Who's coochie in this? Jim, you're coochie. coochie. James is the husband. So you've got to say, who's going to find you pretty? Who's going to find you so pretty now? Question mark. Mm, who's going to find you so pretty no, now? No, you're the husband. Yeah, you're the man. And you've got I, to say why are we role playing a Japanese urban legend? It doesn't sound that great. Alex. Well, Jim's, Jim's got to role play. Would you rather role play a more modern Japanese urban legend, if you know what I mean? Ooh. I'm talking about hentai. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Um. Anyway, after that horrible thing, um, he said that before she died, and then her spirit preys on people walking alone at night, who she appears in front of wearing a surgical mask. She will ask them, Jim? Do you think I'm pretty? That wasn't a very good Japanese woman, like, voice, but... Oh, uh, what does you, uh, Deska? That's a lot better, actually. Um, answering no to that question of, do you think I'm pretty? will get you killed with scissors. <laughs> While answering yes, we'll have her remove her mask, revealing her wounds, and you'll be asked again more aggressively. Saying no to this will again get you killed with scissors, but if you say yes, she'll cut your mouth so that you look like her. Scary rating out of five? Five being scary... That is absolutely zero. horrifying. I think that's incredibly lame. <laughs> yeah, that one sucks. Yeah, that's Th- That's theory. Reddit tier. <laughs> yeah. That's like Reddit... It's too spoopy for me, bullshit tier. The, the ones <laughs> everyone knows are like the, the lame ones, but then there's like the weird ones that are just it's like... Just, it's just... Oh, there, there are like... Bad horror stories are just obsessed with like, smiles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Smiling things, like there's that smiling dog, there's smiling Jeff the Killer. Man. Smiling, smiling man. dog. He just runs down the road at you like... Yeah, there is that like, <laughs> smiling dog creepypasta. You know the one. That... <laughs> Have you never seen that? This I've never seen it. <laughs> smile dog. Is that meant bastard. to be scary? Yes. That's well, funny. And that, yeah, the smile dog. You've never seen these images? Everyone knows the smiling dog. I don't. <laughs> I've never seen... I don't know the smiling funny. dog It looks is. like a meme to me. It doesn't, it doesn't look, look like a meme. It doesn't look scary at all. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is probably my favourite one out of this list. Teke Teke and uh, Koshima Raiko. I know. I, I know that. I don't even try and do a... The next teke, teke. How the fuck would you say that? Teak Teak and Kashima Reiko. Better. These two urban legends are often mentioned together and sometimes rumored to be the same spirit. 
Both involve sinister apparitions missing their legs, who have no problem inflicting the same gruesome demise on you. Teke Teke is the spirit of a, of a Japanese woman who died after falling onto the train tracks, sometimes said to be suicide. She usually distracts you from a window, catching your eye with her beauty. <laughs> she then reveals her bodied torso... Oh, sorry, bloodied. bloodied. I, this mic's, like, covering <clears throat> my eye. And while you are stunned, rushes at you in a... <laughs> Rushes at you in frighteningly speedy spider like walk <laughs> using her claws like hands. This is written so strangely. The sound of them clacking on the ground is teke teke. If you can't outrun her, she will slice you in half. <laughs> Scariness rating? Still a zero. Yeah. I'd give that one a two out of five. This is the best they got. Um, I thought it was no, the, it's, the it's... most creative one because I like the. <laughs> yeah. Teke, teke, teke. <laughs> that is like, they're like Pokemon. And they've got the one yeah, that will teke, teke. your feet hanging out the bed will eat you in your sleep. Is that real? Yeah, that's one of them, isn't it? The thing that eats, your, eats you from your feet if you leave your feet dangling out of the bed. There's another one that has a very similar story. Kashima Raiko is one of the Japanese ghosts said to haunt bathroom stools, particularly at schools. Oh yeah, I know this one. After being beaten and abused by a group of men, she crawled around on her hands and knees, calling out for help in vain. She collapsed on railway tracks and was severed in two. So it's basically the exact same story. And she, like, asks you a, a riddle? <laughs> like, if she finds you, she asks you a riddle, and if you get it wrong, I guess she kills you? Yeah, she'll rip you to bloody pieces. You see, the, just being killed isn't that scary? Yeah. Like, uh, I remember when Slender Man was, like, before it was what it, what it is mm. today, and it was, like, a stupid movie and, and all that shit. The scary thing about Slender Man was the the idea that it would kind of just kidnap you and you'd just vanish. You never yeah. truly knew what happened, where yeah. you went, what was happening. Um, there's two more. Oh no, there are three more. Red Rum! I've watched scarier Pixar films. <laughs> oh. oh! Cars 2 is pretty scary. There's a pretty scary bit in Toy Story... Two. One. Toy Story One is Toy Story is the One scariest is a bit where it's like I don't want to play with you anymore. The whole Sid like room thing is. Yeah, but Toy Story Two when he falls in the infinite bin. Well, yeah, no, that's, that's Toy creepy. Story One, isn't it? No, that's no, the that's second Toy one. Story Two. And he's pulled in like by the. Yeah, oh, that's Toy Story Two. Yeah, yeah. Story towards the beginning, isn't it? They are just all about bathrooms. Hanako, San of the toilet. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> blah 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 is like an initiation. What? Like Bloody Mary? Oh, okay. There's a lot like would that. You, this one's lame. Hmm? Quick side note, would you stand in front of a mirror by yourself in the dark and say Bloody Mary three times? Yes. Have you done it? No. Do it then. They, would you do so it, James? Do you remember the South Park episode where they, did, Jim, where they yeah. said Biggie Smalls? <laughs> I, as, I, I can't do scary stuff. So like, nah, I'm not Would you that. do it, Ruben? Would I do it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess if I had to. Yeah, I'd do it. Not if you had to. Like, I'm just, I'm asking you. If, um. if I tell you to do it, would you do it? To show how much of a man you are. Yeah. Ruben. I just don't believe in any of it. Come on. Okay. Could okay. Th th this Could one's it. pretty. Uh, you do it. No, we're doing the podcast. Pretty, pretty interesting. I'm not doing it. Akamanto, red cape. <laughs> it's another one that lurks in it's bathrooms. In a, it's a bathroom one, yeah. <laughs> They're all bathroom ones. Well, that was the name of the Japanese article. Japanese people so are just terrified expect? of taking a shit. Um, are they terrified of everyone shitting? Everyone is Well, yeah, why wouldn't you be when nobody washes their hands? True. True. That's tr we should have, yeah. That, that fits in perfectly, the cohesion. The red room. It. I know this one. No, but red I, the, the story of the, uh, the, the red, red cape is... Um, He's a ghost who wears a mask to cover his handsome face, which caused him to attract stalkers when he was a human. Dang. Haunting the last stall in girls' bathrooms, he will suddenly appear and ask if his victims want red or blue toilet paper. Asking for red, he will violently carve into you until your clothes are soaked in blood. If you ask for blue, you will be strangled until you die and your face turns blue. I like how, before we actually did this, I quickly read a few and they were all different. They're the same, but they're all, they're all just like the actual details while they're all different. Mm. It's just such shit. Well, if this guy came up to you and asked you what... I would just say, can I just have normal toilet paper? What does he do to you if you just say, no, nah, I don't really want colours? Yeah, because... Um, it made no sense. 
That's a big flaw with these things. Like, they ask you a question, and if you say one thing, <laughs> go uh, to Red Room. Okay. Red room. Well, the Red Room one is actually there's a lot more to it. I think. My, uh, the Red Room. One other trend you may have picked up on in Japanese horror is the theme of haunted or cursed media. In this case, the Red Room is an ominous pop-up on your internet browser. The story starts with one boy telling another about the ghostly pop-up, <laughs> while the more skeptical boy scoffs at it, just like I did, and goes home to search. After searching to no avail, the pop-up shows up with an image of a red door. The recorded child's voice repeatedly asks, Do you like? And the pop-up continually reappears, even when closed. Eventually, the full message is displayed, asking, Do you like the red room? Along with a list of names, the very last of which is the name of the boy who told him about the red room. The boy then senses something behind him and hears the child's voice from within the room, Neither of the boys returns to school and are rumored to have taken their lives and their rooms painted in blood. The thing the thing about that urban legend is it was really big on Tushu, which is like a Japanese site where loads of people would do it and they post like videos of it. But the only weird thing is that the girl who committed the Saispo like um So yeah, stabbing, it's based on a real thing. She actually did something really horrendous and one of her bookmarks was that, the red room, like pop up. Really? So that's why it's got a bit it's of like the same though with the thing with the people who got obsessed with Slender Man. Yeah, and killed that girl or something. Mm. It's normally like so a young a young person has, some, has like a mental illness of some sort, and then they just browse creepy pasta shit too much, and then yeah, you know, one thing leads to another. Mm. Let's do one more. Should we do Gozu, uh, which is Cowhead? I want to see this or Tamino's yeah. Hell. Tamino looks cool. Tomino's Hell is a dark and dis disturbing poem by Yamata. Here we go. Inuhiko that beca became a part of Japanese macabre folklore. Macabre folklore. Thanks in part to Two Chu message boards. Two Chu. Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Two Chu. That's, that's, that's what I know of it. Right, it's two H. Two, two C H. Message boards. It tells of the punishment and Basically, damnation of a boy. What that is, is 4chan was a copy, literally a copy of that. So it's 2chan? Yeah, it's 2chan. 2chan. That's that's the original from like ages ago. Yeah. So think of it as just Japanese. So it's just like a creepy 4chan. poem that if you read out loud, the, the reader will suffer tragedy and a horrifying fate. But there's a YouTube video of someone reading it right there, so... Yeah. All of those were shit. What I found. <coughs> <laughs> they they were crap. I watched this anime. <laughs> There's an anime actually Ruben's about... Ruben's pretty scared. Uh, no, I'm reading about... I'm just reading about Japanese murder cases now. There's there's an anime it's about serious. urban legends, which I watched, and I found it freaky because the we, the art style is really kind of unsettling. It's called Yamashi Bai or something like that. It's I'd say it's pretty good. One of the coolest like creepy. Japanese horror things I've seen was like this short story you've probably seen it james and i think there's actually a movie based on it i think it's called spiral or something hmm. where it's a story about like um th this mountain face suddenly has a bunch of like cutouts of perfect human shapes like appear in them um and uh, like everyone is drawn to it and everyone has a hole that like perfectly fits their body shape and their exact um, you know, just the, the size of them, and something about the holes in the wall just draws them into it. So they like insert themselves in, and they just gradually go through. But the the shape gradually spirals. And they like are warped into like a weird shape. It's. I think is like, that an anime? No, no it's, it's like it was drawn, um, and and I think they've made like a live action movie based on it or something. Just, yeah, that, that's no. such a weird idea. It's like, I think with like Japanese and like doing horror, they they do horror the best. They, they tend to have the best concepts. Yeah, <sighs> just, it's like, not like, like that. American horror, which is just killer. That's it. The whole thing is just you're gonna I don't die. Know if it's that one. The inhabitants of a small Japanese town become increasingly obsessed with and tormented by spirals. <laughs> okay, I'm sure a jarling out there knows the story. I just I find the way they do horror really interesting, and the whole perception of that type of stuff. I was like mortified and so scared of the concept of the Grudge mm -hmm. when I was younger. I didn't really find yeah. the movie scary. Yeah, it was, it was kind of lame and dumb. 
but it's the idea, yeah. Just like the Slenderman thing. It's, it's, Slenderman's it, it, lame. Well, that is. That's like psychological horror, though, isn't it? It's like yeah. it's not like oh, scary killer. It's like the actual. It's the idea of it that's more the actual. Yeah, scary uh, I remember the, like a recurring dream I'd have. I still remember it like, as clear as day because I was so frightened of it. Of like being in a room and there was a vent up in the corner, and like you just saw a flash of the like Grudge face, and that was. I was just burned into my brain for some reason. I so I, I can't watch anything horror. If I watch something like a psychological like Japanese horror movie, I won't sleep for like months. I can't do it. My mind just fucking controls me, and I'm like, oh, I'm a little fuck. bitch with horror now as well. There was really? a time when I was like 17, where I could take it, but nah, 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 nah. I watched this this movie on Netflix like Ghost Stories I think it's called yeah and it's like know. pretty standard shit but I'm I'm like I'm such a little bitch for for decent horror now like not even good but just fine I'm a little yeah, bitch you haven't seen Hereditary yet no can't oh, fuck. It, it follows that film got to me that film frightened me a couple times too I can't, actually, I can't, actually that, that one like intrigued me but I know it's like the thing with, like horror movies and me is like I, I'm fucking terrified of them but it's like as soon as I see a little bit I'm like <coughs> I've got to watch more it's like it, mm -hmm. it fucking pulls you in because I remember this one time my mum was watching like One Missed Call which is a fucking garbage horror movie the trailer for that and the concept of that freaked me out too yeah like you get called and you hear your death and then it happens like that fucking scared the fuck out of me and like Mm -hmm. I was Good in the, the living room. I walked in to talk to my mom about something, left, and then I was like through the doorway, just watching, like fucking scared. <laughs> and then I had nightmares for like months, but I couldn't yeah. pull myself There's away. There's something like everyone's just obsessed with scary stories and That's ideas cool. like that. I can't do it now. And then, like, you've seen the Babadook, haven't you, Jim? Yes. Um, I was scared of like the f first half of that movie. Yeah. Until they show it crawling around on the ceiling and it's funny. And then you're like, oh, it's not scary anymore. Yeah, he just looks him, like yeah. a hipster. Like, <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> in there, really. <laughs> I have watched The Witch. That's yeah, not, the, the Witch is more psychological, yeah. isn't it? I wasn't really that scared of it. No. I, I just appreciated that it, movie. I was very yeah. interested in yeah. all of it. I can imagine, I, I empathised with how terrifying it would be for them, not understanding it. Mm -hmm. I found it more foreboding than yeah. scary. Like, their constant, like, droning music they mm -hmm. play. And just the it's just it's a dreadful film. It's the whole thing is yeah. dread. It's yeah. all you feel. It's got a creepy atmosphere the mm. whole time. Yeah, I really like that. Film. And it's just, the setting is also like it's something mm -hmm. to do with the woods is like ultimate peak scary to me. Because um, then we watched the ritual as well. Yeah, that was I actually like that film quite a bit. I, I really liked the the ritual. Was that 2018 or before? I think it came out in 2017. Yeah, I think it was 2017. Well, we, we watched, we watched it in 2018. Year, yeah. yeah why? It. Why are woods and that type of stuff just scary? Why? I don't know. It's the unknown. Uh, you feel like <clears throat> humans aren't the best at dealing with. If you're by yourself in the woods, like no, we we have Savannah Forest, and that to me, my dad for just all the time growing up was like Savannah Forest. I want to be there at night. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, that's right, Dad. I don't want to be at Savannah Forest <laughs> at night on my own. That's right. Oh, no, it's, it's just a whole thing of like, because they're obviously so open, and it's just like there's so many different angles people could be watching. And it's just like it's perfectly still and dark, yeah. and every, you can hear and everything. the noises. Yeah, you can. No, you I'm really aware. The of most itself. frightened I've probably ever mm. been in my life was I was walking Argue too late in summer. I timed it wrong, so the sun went down. So I was like at the halfway point of the walk, ready to come back, as it was pitch black. And so as I was walking back in the dark, couldn't see anything. Do you know what? Because it wasn't near any roads or, like, lamps. Do you know what my thing was? Um, it's like when I would say I probably did this up to, like, 17, 18, 19, probably. It's like if I go to, like, Tesco at night, it'd be, like, like probably around this time of year where it gets dark really quickly. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd go in sunlight, and if it's dark and it gets back, I would literally, <laughs> no joke, just fucking sprint because I was so scared of, like, anything when, going near When I was like, younger, not not, like, 17, but, like, I Ten. Going upstairs, yeah. You, yeah. you get in your own head, yeah. And it's like if you were the last that. one down and you had to turn the lights off and oh, yeah. go that. up, yeah. I'd run upstairs. Yeah, yeah. My dad used to like, like get at me for it. So <laughs> I had to like walk quickly, like run to the stairs and walk quickly, and mm -hmm. for the point where he'd hear me, so you he wouldn't know that I'd ran up the stairs or whatever. I just remember because where my kitchen is, the kitchen's downstairs, and it's it's not the biggest house, but it's multiple floors. 
and it'd be like the doors like there and the light would be there so it'd just be like oh look at me look. In yeah. instantly one yeah. of the stairs no, I feel like that's a really normal thing to do I yeah. still do it sometimes now I don't like putting my back to where I can't see yeah when I'm when I'm getting paranoid about shit it's yeah, so, no no when I clean my teeth because where my that's bathroom, what I get as well. when, when I'm clean, where my bathroom is it's like the hallway my womb the bathroom so the doors face each other Mm -hmm. So that my lights on. So when I, I when I clean my teeth, I'll look in the mirror and then clean my teeth like that, so it's in my eyes because <laughs> the stairs is there. And then it's just like <laughs> I'm, I'm it's terrified. It's actually like a habit. Like I can't brush my teeth without doing it. I have to look around and be like, <sighs> I'm terrified of going into the bathroom, turning the light on, while it's looking at the mirror, and then see something behind yeah. me, and then turning around and nothing being there. Yeah, I've done that as well. It's such a cliche, but like, if it were to actually happen... Oh my god, yeah. Don't, Jim, don't. I'd, I'd just drown myself in the bath immediately. Like, I can't put up with that. I remember one of the worst ones is when <laughs> you've got something hanging in the room or there's something oh, yeah. vague, human-like shape, so yeah. your brain tells you, shit, that's Which something there. Get ready remember, to kill it, kill yeah. it! <laughs> I remember this one time we were all like, at yours, and Jim's spoken about this before, like, to, to, to us, I think. It's like, it was night time, and we were going, like, downstairs, and it's like, because of where your bathroom is, there's the mirror, and then there's a, a window next to it. Mm -hmm. And Jim spotted something in the window, and yeah. it wasn't actually there. It was like a, a light on the toothbrush charger. Yeah, and it I, thought, off. yeah. I thought there was like an alien spaceship coming to, to abduct me. <laughs> and I remember, the, because you said... There was like, like a flashing blue light. You're like, where the, f what the fuck is that? And then we <laughs> literally sprinted downstairs and we're just like, fucking out. <laughs> we're done. Well, there was that time, Jim... Uh, we thought we saw a ghost. Do you remember in the neighbor's garden? Yeah, it was actually just some white chairs. It was just some white chairs stacked on top of each other, but you just wind each other up. Like, yeah. I remember after watching Pan's Labyrinth for the first time. Um, that scared holy, the fuck me. Yeah, that fucked me up. The pale, the pale creature. fucked me up, um, yeah. I used to be terrified of that. I remember, like, uh, I watched it with a few people, and afterwards, yeah. either I or one of them said, I think I saw it outside or some shit. <laughs> yeah, and everyone... Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was walking um, uh, in the, in summer and I was trapped out there at night, there's like a river by where I was walking, a really shallow stream, and it was pitch black and I couldn't see anything, but I heard like footsteps go through the water really loudly. It was like I think I literally out loud said, "Oh hell no!" Nah. <laughs> and just <laughs> and just ran Damn. For it. with Augie. You no, know, I, I actually just ran because it. I was not expecting it at all. It just sounded like something walking through the water. I, I bet know. it was just like a fucking duck. It was probably like a yeah, some or it was um, mammal. Ugok too. It probably was the Ugok river runner. The that's river why. Runner, that's yeah. why like dogs are great. It's just like a dog ain't dumb. Like, but then there's times when like you're scared, but then your dog like, barks at noise, and it's just like oh fuck. <laughs> but then the worst bit is if the dog gets scared as well, and it's like we're gonna Cats, die. We're both gonna yeah. die. Cats are scary though. Mm. They're just staring not, at shit. Not long it's ago, not um... Don't do that. I actually read something about it on Twitter, so I was saying they actually got haunted by a ghost and it has to do with cats, and I fucking freaked out. Okay, the grudge had the cat, didn't they? It was yeah. like a boy with the voice of a cat, because their yeah. souls, the souls got mixed got... up or something. But yeah, the, not long ago, um... Mm -hmm. I heard some cat shit going on outside, so I was like, okay, better check this out. Like, Billy having a fight. Um, <clears throat> so I go down, open the door, and Billy's just by herself. So I take a few steps, and then I just hear this fucking boom mm -hmm. come from like, like something's jumped over the fence and it's made a crash. Mm -hmm. And then it happens a couple times, like, again and again. So it's just a cat jumping onto a big metal thing next door. Yeah. But the first time I heard it, I was like... <laughs> 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 Do you know what? I'm now, it's like, I'm so paranoid. It's not like just anything scary. It's just like people. If I hear someone like walk by my house, I'm like up, like it'll be midnight and I'll just wake up and I'm like taking over, like defensive actions, like grabbing something to like smash them. And it's just like, I'm too, I listen too much when I sleep because I'm like the, my parents are on the top floor. I'm on the middle floor. So if anyone broke in, I'm like the first like <laughs> thing. You're the first. So, I, the first so it's like now it's like, I've got, I'm so used to it now that if it's like, if there's a noise, I'm like, I'm ready to fuck shit up. So I'm like on edge all the time. And it's really terrible. Damn. But then there's guys who's like, who'd howl like a motherfucker. So That's true. Argue would alert everyone. <laughs> That's a great horror but episode that's the thing. in uh, I'm January. Also, I'm also like that because <laughs> someone literally tried to break into my house once. 
when my sister was downstairs pregnant at the time so and that freaked me the fuck out and since i've just been like if you go in this house house. i'm gonna fuck you up well we will continue after d's nuts messages (laughs) (laughs) i don't know if you want to finish that story james about being burgled or something Oh no, it's just Before you go into questions? Um, like, around Christmas, you know, like, burglaries are more mm. common because yeah. of presents. Mm-hmm. And it was before Christmas, my sister was down, I was pregnant at the time, staying in our house. She was downstairs in the bottom, like, study at the time, but it was a womb. Mm. And that, that window faces the, ga- the, like, gate. And then someone opened the gate, walked up to the door, tried to get in, started pushing it, and then just legged it out. Mm. Obviously, if you're pregnant at the time, it's like, oh shit. Yeah. So since I've been very defensive over any of that type of stuff. We should have guns. For self-defense, straight up. If someone's going to the house, no, bang, you're getting, no, you're, getting, you're getting glocked. If guns were illegal, <coughs> then you'd have to worry about them having a gun. No, because you glock them first. As soon as you go, yeah, you know your house better than them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you, it's like Home Alone, you except do, with a fucking it's like, it's like lethal. <laughs> you you know? literally you take the Japanese folklore legends and you hide in creepy places and <laughs> glock them. Mm-hmm. Are, you, are bear traps legal? No. You, what you do is you set yeah. up a series. What if someone of, breaks in, it just turns into a round of seeds. It's just like. <laughs> you set up a series yeah, of high powered defense turrets at strategic locations, and then they trickle in in waves, and you're, you've got to make sure they don't get to the end. Hmm. You turn, yeah. Basically, yeah. no weapons are legal here. Really. Well, no, but no, you yeah. can't own anything. That, that If they can prove that you only own it as a weapon, then you've got, you're done for possession of a weapon. If mm. someone breaks into your house and you smash them with a bat, that you that they say you only own because you use it as a weapon. You go to prison as well. Of course, you can't <laughs> have a really. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, if you own more. like a baseball bat, something you have to at least use it for baseball. Yeah, you have to be able to prove that you just have it. You have it for baseball. Oh, okay. And you picked it up incidentally. It was the only thing available to you to defend yeah. yourself. Yeah. It's so a good like, thing my dad plays golf. <laughs> Fucking boop. So what? Like a spanner? Well, if you're working on a car, you're always gonna have a spanner. So you just whack him with a spanner. You, you, what you? That is so stupid, though. If someone comes into my house, you yeah, be you can be prosecuted for fucking smashing them when they've come onto. They broke. Yeah, into there are your like there are like property. famous cases yeah. of you know yeah. robbers cutting their legs as they break in through the window they've smashed, and then they like sue the owner of the home and stuff like that. It's, <laughs> it's that it's that stupid like technicality of those kinds of laws. The kind of loopholes. At the end of the day, if someone goes in room of property, I should be able to fuck them up and not have any repercussions. Yeah. Personally, that's how I see it. Well, so how do you feel about it counting as, um, like, indecent exposure if you're naked inside your house and someone from the outside sees you? You see, that, no that depends. That, that depends. Because if you're, like, standing... If you're, like, f- jerking off in the window. Yeah, like, at staring people. at people. No, yeah. but if someone breaks in and you, you sleep with your, in your fucking undies and you run down with a baseball bat in your undies, it's like, you can't get done for that because you were asleep. Imagine just fucking with, like, a burglar who's, um, trying to break into your house. Like, you, if you what? happen to have, like, we've got weird, like, props here. Mm-hmm. If you just dressed up really strangely and just were, like... It'll be like that part like, being really it. weird around them. Like through the glass, looking at them and shit. They probably just like, them out. <laughs> just yeah. doing that. Yeah, that, yeah, that, really that, that doing that sort of thing like in The Shining, you know, where she's running around and then she sees the guy like sucking off a dude. Yeah. And then he gets up and he's just wearing that like dog mask. Yeah. It's like, she, what you're saying is if someone breaks in, pretend to be a Japanese urban legend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's just that's put on that black today. wig and wear like a surgical mask. And make some creepy noise the whole time. Mm-hmm. What you need is flickering <laughs> light. You need like a flickering blue light and a surgeon's <laughs> mask and like just like a weird saw and you just like look at them for a while, holding your like surgical and surgical saw. Just mm-hmm. stare at them for a bit. Or get really fat and buy a katana. <laughs> <laughs> they would not fuck with uh, you then. And a, and a cool hat. And a cool hat, yeah. Mm-hmm. Some kind of uh, fedora or something. Something to you know, kind of classic. You know really uh, whiten the mood. <laughs> so basically what we're saying is if anyone breaks into your house, Jar fans, just straight up twerk in front of them and they'll they'll fucking like That it. might freak them out. If you're dressed up as like if I was in that dinosaur costume. If you're dressed up as the red room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's Damn. a great answer, Jamie. <laughs> that would actually be great though. Like in the future, in a hundred years, when people have like augmented eyes, in America, eyes, though, you, when when they go into your house, you you make them enter the red room, and the pop up comes up on their eyes. Can't escape ah. then. In America, though, someone breaks in, 
block those motherfuckers. Who gives a shit? They broke into your house, motherfucker. That's, That's literally how it is. How it is. Yeah, the country of the free. What if it's revealed that it's like your teenage son who like lost his keys I'm pretty and sure snuck Alex, out and, and you I'm just... I'm pretty sure that's happened. Like people yeah. killing, yeah, like, sure gunning happened. their sons yeah. down. It's yeah, just I'm like, pretty sure that's shit. an actual case. You just, I, really? I remember reading about yeah. this. Yeah. Damn. But it's, just, it's not like they get gunned. They will like straight up get like AR-15s and just yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. shoot through 15 what houses. What you gotta do is get to a strategic location and just say, identify yourself, mm -hmm. Mister Flash, Thunder. What you want to do is you want to set up your thermite charge and be like making a new door <laughs> when they least expect it. That's what we want to do. See, that's why I should live in America, just so we can yeah. uh, fucking... So we can weaponize. Weaponize. I just wanted to show my cannons. A, a mine's legal. You're allowed to own mines. Claim well, like landmines. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> why not? What's the fucking point of living in America if you can't own a simple mine? Oh, so what, you'd buy a house and then Where put fucking claymores up at you, every imagine door? Imagine you've got the, under the, like, the doormat, you put a fucking landmine, it's like this thick, <laughs> landmine under it, rugs like this, it's like, why is oh, the yeah, I mean, Argy mined himself like again? <laughs> it's just got no legs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just bury them in the garden. Fucking Argy runs out to Yeah, because shit if someone uh, <laughs> climbs over the back <laughs> fence, they just <laughs> blow up. <laughs> what if you have to climb over your fence one day? Well, you I know oh, where the mines shit. are. We'll buy a few accidentally trigger it by just jumping a wow. bit. Do you know that film we watched? Kajaki. Yeah, I was just thinking that Boy. too. Tense. Do you that know what actually came into my, my mind today when I was working? I think about the way these things don't work. I was thinking, now is the perfect time to kill someone. And I say this because currently, in, in, like, in the world, there's not many anti-drone things. So you buy a drone, you drive your car like a, dis a furthest distance away, middle of the night, stick explosives to the drone, go to their window and blow the drone But you up. can't get explosives in the UK. You can make explosives. But that's so easy to track. Yeah. Ha the ingredients okay, That's required. the downfall of my plan. Yeah. <laughs> but surely there's a way to weaponize drones before it's mainstream. Maybe in America where you can like where guns are legal. Well, yeah, mount guns to a tower, so then you can. No, but that's that's too technical. I like, think it needs to be like of murder now. You know, you know, hardest. ISIS, ISIS in like it, like whatever country they're fighting in actually use drones to like drop bombs in cars and shit. That is actually a real thing. Because I was reading this article about it and it was about the Gatwick thing, and it was like how to stop drones by the Iraqi army or something. It was just like kill the person using it. So it's like so, so Gatwick. They just should have just shot the person using it. Basically, <laughs> let them know who the person using yeah. it was, though. It's a conspiracy they didn't theory. No, it's obviously a conspiracy theory. That. Hundred percent. Right. Anyway, let's do some uh, questions from the Jar community over at the Jar Media Reddit page. Uh, I want to start with this one from Fart in My Poopy Ass. It's fucking huge. It's a. Uh, Jar-related disaster anecdote. So bear with while I read this. I haven't read it, so I'm. Hi Jar, I want to share a Jar related disaster anecdote with you. So there I was on a Monday, this Monday, making my semi daily trip to Tesco late at night. Very fitting with this story, Ooh, we yeah, mentioned that perfect. very, very <laughs> subject. When I decided I wanted to hear your epic voices through my headphones instead of my regularly scheduled listening material. Yep, yep. For the, fast, for the past few trips, then I've been listening to the Jarcast on my Tesco walks, which is way more entertaining than music. Ha, <laughs> damn right. Only problem is that, while I laugh at the jar anyway, it's even harder to look normal when you're holding back laughter in public, which makes, <laughs> which makes me look like a bit of a maniac when I start laughing at nothing, while poor bystanders watch. Things truly came crashing down a few hours ago. I was on my way to grab a lovely cake, or is that lowly cake, is that a thing, Ruben? It says a lowly cake. It says lowly, oh sorry, yeah, lowly coke, my mistake. <laughs> when you started the discussion, on who the whitest black person is. No, no more than 10 seconds passed when I let out the loudest snort <laughs> fathomable in front of an incredibly confused middle-aged man as he was entering his home. He turned com completely around and gave me the dirtiest stare I'd ever seen. Of course, we were the only two people around, so I couldn't have just walked off and pretended it wasn't me. So I, I left to absorb the cringe in my paralyzed state. <laughs> The man watched me as I very awkwardly scuffled down the narrow road to continue my everlasting journey to Tesco, where I purchased my coke with shame. I nearly e exhibi exhibited the same mistake on my way back, but luckily caught myself before potentially scaring the small family walking in the opposite direction in the distance. 
I'm safe now in my room and gaming hard at <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> this was surely an interesting day for me, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the cast. God bless. Ruben, full step. More, I've got my question. name is not Ruben, I'm just personally blessing Ruben. <laughs> Are you God? <laughs> He's God. I've got a weird thing about that. Why is it that if you if you show like happiness in public, you get judged? Like he was in the laughing. UK anyway. What was so bad about that? But it's like why? It was a snort laugh. There's no, nothing. That, no, but that's, that's where he made his mistake. No, that was but his downfall. That's 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 like happiness. That's like finding something funny. Why is that a bad thing? Because people, people laugh in public and they wonder what you're laughing at. Yeah, people automatically assume you're laughing at them so or something you, that's going on if, around if them. If I see someone laugh, it's just like that guy's laughing. He's having great fake fun. Oh, cool. I don't know why people are negative and think you're like the weirdo for laughing in public. I was straight up like, I that stuff does not bother me anymore. Like if I I will burst out laughing out loud in public, I just don't care. Yeah. I will straight up like dance in my I really car care what in other traffic. People think or <laughs> like the Orville Ilian uh, says, "Who is the best and worst role model in Jar?" James is the best and the worst. Reasons? Okay. Okay. What well, he's quite responsible in terms of his job. And things like that, but not that good at Rainbow Six. Very irresponsible in other art departments, though. So. Like spending loads of money on your car and stuff. I wouldn't say that makes you a bad road model, though. I mean, it is his passion. No, I would say if someone is sitting there, is working hard, doing overtime all the time, so they can work on something they're passionate for, that doesn't make them bad. That is what you want from a role model because it's like, yeah, why is that bad? Yeah, that, that's a good yeah, thing. I retract it. I retract it. Because that person just drives hard. really dangerously all the time. I don't. When, really when, epically. When, when other people in my car, I drive as safe as possible because my life is in their hand. My Their life is in my hand, so I'm not going to do that. he's on his own, though, hands. it's just like, <laughs> just drifting, <laughs> fucking flipping that steering wheel <laughs> over the place. <laughs> That's it. No, I Screaming at people you don't indicate. Oh, well, that just that annoys me when and I'm just a passenger. I get upset with things like that. Mm. No, but when I do that, I exaggerate it because you're in the car, so I just scream at, out of nowhere just about someone not indicating. It's too funny. I know, but I know what. I don't really know how to answer this. Role model, it's like, I say to be someone's role model, you need to know them quite intimately, I guess. You need to know them quite a lot to be able to... I don't know, because like, I'm sure Kevin right. Spacey was a lot of people's role models. until. Just, I mean, if you idolise certain aspects about a character, that's fine, but don't mm -hmm. assume that that is everything that that person is. Mm. There you go. Yeah, nobody's perfect. You, can, like, you could have, say, Phil Fish was your role model. Um... But Who's just, that? just the the guy who made Fez, who's like a oh, yeah. an absolute asshole. twat. <laughs> Say, you, but the part you had, you were, you found a role model and, a, and appreciated was just his dedication to making a game, and that's as a singular like person, a singular creative vision. Yeah. To me, a role model or like an idol, it, it's I. They're complete packages of like what the who they are. It's never just one single thing. But about it's like. Them. I idolise someone like Quentin Tarantino, but I do think he's a bit of a dick. But he's good at the thing he's famous for, you know? Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. But going into role models is a, a different subject of who we are role models, so we'll just wait for that. When someone asks us that question, we'll just... I don't think there's anything then. really... Like, it's usually people that are quite a bit older, that have done a lot more things, that are like... You know, there's a good person to idolise or think as a role model. They've done a lot of things in the time they've been alive. I'd say James and Alex are the good role models, and me and Ruben are the bad ones. No, but why me and Alex are the good role models? I like how me and Alex. <laughs> if you look at the positions, Jim and Ruben are sitting the same. <laughs> me and Alex are sitting with our arms crossed, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> I'm sat with my leg crossed over me. Look at yeah, Jim. Kind of is. I don't know how me and Alex are the good role models though. Mm. Uh, I don't get that. I wouldn't say any of us are bad role models. No, because we're not. Me and Ruben are constantly twerking. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I would not. Because none that of sense. us are like objectifying ourselves. None of us are a personality like uh, Jake Paul or Keemstar or something. Because mm -hmm. it's funny, it's like Keemstar I, is. He's he's not the best role model. I would never call him like a good role model. He's just funny. Mm -hmm. I do tase the rats that Billy kills. Yeah, but that's funny. It's funny when you do it. Okay, cool. Yeah, sweet. To me, a role model is a complete package. To me, you're a complete package. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> I just want to suck on a complete package, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Malicious Pixie says, Question for all except Alex. 
What was it like wait, when wait. You, for you all when Alex started to gain a large online following? Was it especially surprising? To be honest, I thought they were going to be when Alex started to gain a lot of weight. That's what I was, that was what my head was. <laughs> I was like, when did that happen? That's what I was thinking. Oh, mama. Damn. Were you guys at all jealous or just happy for his success? I've, I've, I've never been jealous of Alex. I was pissed off because Alex He's basically. Been than me as well. Can I, can I get my point across? No, because James did one, and I wanted to do a joke as well. I was always pissed off because Alex stole all my ideas. So, <laughs> well, sorry, like what? So the joke as well. The <laughs> fact that Alex has completely ripped me off and <laughs> and got what like eight million subs is it now? Yeah, something like off that. of m d just my idea. Now, actually, he's actually got eight, bi he's got every, eight billion. Subs. Every video idea. Every every video, every uh, every one of his channels, you know. Well, Kony was just the fool guy, but you're the brains of the organization. I was the brains of the organization, yeah, but yeah. I was also the fool guy. Before I make a video, I actually just call Jim on FaceTime, and I'm like, Jim, what do you think of uh, Big Mouth? <laughs> and I've got my, like, notepad. <laughs> and, Jim, and Jim never realizes what's happening. No, until I it's fool too for late. it every yeah. time. Then you watch the video, and you're like, oh, I'm getting weird deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> You just use the audio from the phone call of me saying it. <laughs> pretend it's you. Yeah, because we've got a similar voice, so I'm a bit so more. I'd audio. say I'm more gangster than Alex. <laughs> I'd say that's fair. <laughs> that yeah, that's fair. Okay, what I would say yeah. about this <laughs> is, if you're spiteful for your friend's success, then you're not their friend. Yeah. <laughs> like Alex, you know, Alex is a big YouTuber, and I'm, I'm. That's great because he's worked for that. Like, I'm proud of Alex for doing that. So no, like, I'm still trying to work on my success, so like, why is it Yeah, but what you got to remember is, no matter what you do... Mama? <laughs> no matter what you do, I'm still more gangster than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always going to be taller than you. Damn. Not if I wear high heels. True. What if I just wore high heels as well? The, the same bigger year. high heels. And I'll wear bigger ones too. I'll get the biggest stilettos in the world and I will wear them. And break your ankles. Ruben's, the, Ruben's always the big man till he's eating my ass. <laughs> Do you remember when um That's fucking horrible <laughs> I remember that, that day I got like a hundred subs or something. <clears throat> that was um, my favourite moment. Getting like five hundred subs or something. I don't know when I realized it was like, oh this is actually something. <laughs> this isn't just another man man boy boy man. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's all it was until I just Alex sort of remember like, just oh. like um, a few conversations where you're like, well, my parents want me to go and do this. And I was like, fuck doing that. Mm -hmm. You just keep getting subscribers. It's not going to suddenly stop if you just, you know, if you don't stop, you stop making videos. I think it really hit me when I was just moving out to a flat. It was just like, oh shit, mm -hmm. okay, this mm -hmm. is something else. Well, when you were making more money from YouTube than your part-time job at Sainsbury's, which yeah. wasn't much, yeah. but it was still like, oh, mm -hmm. okay then. Yeah, I, I remember that was the, the only point. thing I, I could use to convince people. You know, yeah, you yeah. it has to because the the idea is so vague anyway. Yeah, you ha and people don't understand how the actual monetization of it works. Yeah, in any way. people. The number of times I've been asked by the same people asking me, yeah, like over and over again, I'm like, it's just adverts. I just say that's just advertising. Yeah, there's no. Do you point. choose? No, no more questions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The number of times I had as well when Alex was doing the start of it, back at the back in the day was like, oh, is I still making those videos? Mm -hmm. They would say your yeah. surname because, you know, I guess that's how they were dressed you because they didn't oh, know yeah. you, but they knew yeah. I knew you. And then I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I actually remember that. The, all the people in like I, our I year, they were, they were cunts about yeah. your YouTube thing. And, yeah, you know, they used to just, mock you through me. I was like, oh, and now, and now, and now just look, yeah. fucking compare them. It's just like, you fucking little shit. Yeah, that, that shit never got to me though because it was like, I think okay. if you let that stuff get to you, you're, 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 you're damaging yourself and your actual progression. Mm -hmm. You just gotta yeah, go through. As long as you're realistic the whole time, I guess. Yeah. Like, whatever. Whatever, yo. You just keep doing your thing. Uh, Tomeo Source says, Alex, what are your thoughts on Disney's The Wild? It came out at the same time as Madagascar and had a similar this. plot. I remember Have you that. seen it? No, but Disney's? I remember its existence. Yeah, don't you remember? I'll show you the trailer. I don't, I've never. Sorry, the uh, poster. It's really ugly, the poster. Okay. Uh, shit tier compared to Madagascar. Honestly, that was before, um, no, that's not the one. It's just called The Wild. The Wild. God, it's so, like, no one cares about this movie. There it is. 2006. Wow. So, uh, Holy shit, that, oh yeah. my god, it, that, that was Disney. Steve Spaz Williams directed it, 
and it had Keith Sutherland, Jim Belushi, oh, Eddie Izzard. Solid Snake. Oh, solid Snake. Big Boss, even. God, it's very Bitch. similar. Like, the the uh, poster has a giraffe, a lion, a koala, a uh, crocodile or alligator, and what is that? A, a squirrel or something? Shit. Not even funny. Bad character designs. This is what I mean. Awful I, character designs. I... I like the Madagascar character designs. I actually think they're good. They're really expressive. They're, I didn't realize how good they are until I just saw this. Yeah. This is atrocious. And the way they're animated in in those movies is so... It's just like a cartoon. Yeah. In, in 3D. You learn a lot about them just from looking at them as well. Yeah, the yeah. Props no, to DreamWorks for that, because they can be so... They can be shit. Like, <laughs> like home. <laughs> You see it like around the world in <laughs> ring. It's such a home. <laughs> yeah, it's a DreamWorks film called Home. I it's like that as well. Like they make shit like this. Yeah, Home oh, and and the main it's like, like one with Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah, Rihanna's like the girl and yeah. the guy from Big Bang Theory yep. voices yeah. like the alien. That mm, not fuck, even funny. Fuck DreamWorks and fuck Disney. <coughs> Animated movies always shit. Terrible for babies. Mm-hmm. If it ain't live action, it ain't for me. Yep, that's right. But Tron. That was live action, sort of. A bit. Tron? I yeah. ain't seen that Tron. Was Disney. You seen the new one? Tron Evolution. The new old one now. What that's new one. old one? Tron, Tron Legacy. Legacy. I haven't seen Tron Legacy. Really? No, I don't give a fuck. That film looks shit. Uh, I think it's kind of worth be shit, watching once. The soundtrack it's like banging. Long. I'd say it's worth watching. Yeah, it's interesting. Nah, I don't give a shit. Looks shit. You're mean! I, I I just know because you've told me about it as well that I wouldn't like it. When you first like rewatched it, you said you would not like this movie. No, but you don't have to. You don't, don't watch it then. Just really listen to the soundtrack. Great music. The music. The soundtrack's yeah. amazing. It's the best example I can think of. It's the one I always go to of like shit film. Really, really good music. Like not just good music, but really. Yeah, but good the music. soundtrack is on Spotify, so like. Yeah. I've got no uh, reason. You can to watch you it. can listen to that soundtrack and just infer some kind of story that's more. Inventive and imaginative, then. Yeah. The and that film. good actors in it. Yeah. Jeff Bezos. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Bezos. Jeff Bezos was awesome. Yeah. It? He's my favorite character. Uh, Mars. Marcelotti's says, "Hey Jar, this one is mostly for James. What do you think about Teslas? Also, do you like Elon Musk? Teslas. I hate Elon Musk. We've talked about Elon Musk before. Yeah, he's a bit of a fucking cock, especially the whole pedophile thing. With yeah, that guy. that's why that, yeah. I was cool with him until that. Mm -hmm. He was just a cop. Can, we, to that can guy you explain thing. what that is? Okay, to me, so I can't you remember. know in Thailand, a bunch of like. Oh, uh, there was the. There was the all cave. Trapped ship. in a cave. That's yeah. right, yeah. Well, Elon Musk sent over this submarine there mm. to like help. And this, this um, guy, this English guy, I think he was, he's like an expert. He's lived there like for years and he's an expert of the caves because he like does caving and that stuff. And he was saying that the submarine Elon Musk, Musk sent, whatever his name is, sent wouldn't fit in the caves. Mm. And because of that, Elon Musk literally just posted on Twitter he's a pedophile. He just went rampant. Yeah. And sending the guy emails to his personal email address, calling him a pedo and stuff. Yeah. To the point where this guy had to, like... Took, he took it, a lawsuit. Yeah. yeah. Really? And I'm pretty sure Elon Musk was just like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think oh. he got him to throw it. He was, like, motion to get it thrown out or something. Or? Yeah. It's just crazy, though. It's like that, a real 4 channer thing to do. Yeah. Because the guy, yeah. the guy literally did it, didn't no money, just helping out to save these kids, and it's just like he's getting called a pedophile by Elon Musk. But in terms of Teslas, I just think there's a lot of controversy around Teslas and the stuff in America with their gigafactory and the amount of money they're taking out of the government and the fact that they haven't met any of it yet. It's there's constant. What do you think about the actual like end car. product vehicle though? They they're cool looking. Yeah, I think they look cool. They're they're, they're a really bit too big for me. They're massive. Vehicles, they're, they're, they're huge. huge. They're really, they're really cool. I, I don't want. They are, cool, yeah, they're, cool they're, they're, but it's they're, just they're like a cool car, but the premiums you're paying for them. They're too much money. Like, <laughs> go buy, go money. buy a Prius. Go buy a Prius or a BMW i i3. Yeah, that'd be a good choice. It's lighter as well. <laughs> <laughs> the police use those in yeah. London, and they're in Norway everywhere. They're yeah. actually everywhere. They they're are all over they, the place. They are. The i3. <clears throat> yeah. They they must be good for the police because of the acceleration on them. Just catch up. To yeah, them if, if you're on a racing motorbike, it's just beep. <laughs> Eat well, sleep. Well, how do you think they're gonna, they're knocking off the mo moped criminals in London now? <laughs> I freeze. This is that's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> Eat sleep. Anime says question for Jim. 
That's the shirt from the first Christmas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is it with you and toking on your Instagram? You know how it be. Damn. Jim's a real He's a real bloke. Motherfucker. And he likes to... Toke. That's right. Choke. Nice. Fuck, Jim, that's sick as fuck. Uh, sishy fishy, going back to Madagascar briefly. Can we agree that the chase scene at the beginning of Madagascar 3 is a genuinely great action scene? From the pacing to the music, boundless logic, and the running through walls. Also that Hans Zimmer music in the third is better than the usual stringy music he always does. Game On is, is the best on the soundtrack. I don't know, I've got no comment because I've not watched it. Uh, I'm not a fan of Hans. His soundtracks for Madagascar are genuinely they're, brilliant. No, but weren't they, just they might be his best, his best work ever. <laughs> Oh, Madagascar 2 and 3 have amazing soundtracks. No, but I can't believe how good they, they are. Aren't they copied? No, they're not copied. But didn't something copy the Madagascar one? There's a particularly good bit in Madagascar 2 in the plane crash sequence. Yeah. No, where it's like going through all the characters and then it goes to King Julian who's like floating and it like... It has, incorporates the... I like to like, move, yeah, move yeah. it instrumental into the like action music. Uh, but sounds so it, dumb, but wasn't it, it really works. It really works. There's a Transformers song that is a literal copy of the Madagascar the, one. Yeah, the, yeah. the compositions are like really similar. Is it similar to... Yeah, that's the Madagascar one. Yeah, it's got like the same chord progression. Yeah, it's like the epic, edgy version of it. Yeah. But the, yeah, it's... Which came Madagascar one's better. Came out... Transformers came out after Madagascar, like two years after. Oh damn! Yeah. Cool, Transformers be winning. I mean, Madagascans be winning. No, we, Jim. We've got to do it. What? Not. I've got to say that I'm going. I'm not going to be on the yeah. cast for ages now. <laughs> what are we going to do? Out of the way. <coughs> we got to do. What? Tell us. I don't know what it is. I should be involved in this. Well, if you want, if you want to. Well, yes. And as good as they say on Madagascar 2 and 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, as I'm bad as they say. I'm not going to do something right now in the last few minutes. So I wanted to no, no, no. And say, yeah, no, we're not, we're not quite done here. Well, no, we, not we've, long left, we've still got minutes. another three hours left of this class. Fine, it's another question or two. We go hard. Mama. K Kasudo Kasudo blah, 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 says, "What are your thoughts on having a jar jar, a jar that stores all dead memes for reference later?" It's actually a pretty good idea. That's a pretty good idea. As in jar memes. As in, there's like a jar. You write down the memes, like so. You write mama on yeah, it, and then you put, put it in the jar. jar. Emotional. We should probably do that. And no, then, um, I disagree with this. I'm no, not we should. Do I have it. a jar downstairs that would be perfect. For yeah, it we should just tweet. We need. I, we need a list of every jar meme. Someone's probably. Well, we could start it from now. No, I, I'd want to get all our past ones. Yeah, as well. yeah, and they need to all be in there, so like, <clears throat> we'll just have them all forever. And if we can, we've got to date sort of the, the mm. meme or something. Yeah. Trouble is, we don't realize it's a meme until it's gone. No, we know Mama's a meme. True. And True. emotional. Yeah, Mama and emotional are both memes. I love Mama. <laughs> Let's do one more. There's only one Whoa, minute. What are you laughing at? Je Jew Brew 69 says, What's your fave thing you boys like to do out of the following? Chill and play games, go have a pint, go clubbing, or bully James? <laughs> oh. uh, I well, thought well, that no, was going to no, be no, easy technically, until the last one. Two of them are combined. Because whenever you sit and play games, it involves bullying me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Not true. You often bully me. Yeah, I James bully everyone. Good. It's a free for all. That's all it is whenever we play yeah. games. It's like a four player free for all smash. Unless we're actually playing co like properly. Yeah. So it's like if we're concentrating on siege. It's like to the left. Then we're triple tab. tactics out the fucking. This room's thing. clear. Oh. Move in. I'm edge jabbing. I'm going to sneak this one in. <laughs> Mitchell well. failed. Chalky, okay, Chalky Muffin 969 says Which of you do you think would be the best father? Father of a child. I, in terms of what? I like, reckon I would make an epic father because a l there were a lot of mistakes <laughs> made in my childhood where I was raised and I've s I see them all and I wouldn't make the same ones. Okay. It's weird because I've been playing God of War as well. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like God of War. Oh, I love it. I don't know. I love it. It's hard to know until you're uh, in the situation. Uh, I'm not ready. 
I don't think any I of us are ready. I'm, like now, I don't, I don't think any of us it. are ready. I think I'd be quite good at it. I think I'd make a good father. I've got enough love in me. <laughs> you want a little bit more? It's a nice thing to end <laughs> on. <laughs> Thank still, you for watching this yeah. episode of the Jarcast. We'll catch you next time. This one's just become a dolphin thing. No. Uh, Might do the best. Uh,